Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video, we're going to talk about Devasa Creations. Now, it has been decreasing in player count. I kind of knew that this would happen. I made a video critiquing about like things that could change and things I had problems with. If you have not watched that video yet, go and watch it. I will leave it in the end of the video. You could watch that video. And I had a lot of things that the game could have changed. And I'm, I'm not the only one that agreed with some of those um, changes because a lot of their players are also saying please make some changes for the mounts and do this and that and that and they haven't done that as of yet but they can and they did change the xp requirement because they don't want players to get higher level because there's some players already like level 60 and some more like almost 70 because a lot of players try to get a lot of xp and grind the game I played for a certain amount of time, then kinda got bored after a while. It was, it was don't get me wrong, it was kinda fun. But after, you know, a while and they wanting the quest needed me to beat like 40, 40 uh, like NPCs, I was not gonna do that. <laughs> I was not gonna do that. So I give up. It was um a a recoin re reoccurring quest. It's not only uh, there's a lot of reoccurring quests. Uh, it will say like defeat 50 NPCs and then 50 another NPC and then you have to go back and forth to get some herbs and stuff like that like oh my god I'm not the only content creator that has complained about their system and stuff like that it's bandit beater and the youtubers that glaze the game are gone now they're over making Relsi's video as expected they gotta do what they gotta do Anyways, pretty much, I don't know what to say about it. It's uh, the player count. Um, their players told them what um, things they wanted to be changed and stuff like that. We can only hope that Devil's Creation still stays alive as a game and continues to update. And I mean, that was only a bug fix. They haven't even updated once yet. But I hope if they do update, they make it a little bit more, you know, portable for everybody since. I mean, for the mounts, like, are you kidding me? Most, uh, and mostly, my, uh, like, my friends don't want to play it because of the mount. Like, nobody wants to walk across the whole entire map and defeat, like, constant NPCs over and over and over. And there's, like, no really cool, like, there's, there's a little different from Blocks Roots, man. Well, they would rather play Blocks Roots or GPO than, than doing that. Because it's, it's ridiculous. 15 NPCs. I, in my uh, in the video that I was critiquing um, that was creation and saying my concerns and s stuff that I had problems with in the comments there's people that was defending the game oh, where are they now are, are, are if you're watching this video and you're one of those people where are you now are you still playing that was a creation or did you just drop the game because I know a lot of people dropped the game but yeah um that was creations game uh, has been decreasing player count it's not as much as it was before I mean what do you guys think personally do you guys think that that was a crazy is gonna update anytime soon or do you think they're gonna abandon the game because me personally I kind of hope they don't abandon the game and they actually would update and ch just change some of the stuff maybe not have to defeat so many NPCs uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to do constant NPCs. Um, someone was compare saying that that um, a lot of people in the comments were also saying that the the creation is an RPG MMO. Do you know what that is? An RPG MMO, and there were just a bunch of them. And it's like you, they probably have not played an RPG MMO game outside of Roblox because RPG MMO games are not constantly defeat the same thing over and over and over. Something like Blocks Root, they have to like defeat like. NPCs, like 12 or 25 of NPCs over and over just for one level. It is not the same. Uh, RPG MMO game has more unique abilities, um, like requirements, stuff like that. Especially if it's one of those RPG MMO with a lot of story. That was the creations is not a lot of story. It's a lot of side quest and mostly side quest. There's no really main quest. There's no voiceovers for the main quest. It's mostly side quest. You're not going to do really much anything else but side quest over and over and over. And it's so exhausting. You guys could, again, tell me what you guys think about Devil's Creation and everything in this video that I'm saying. 
I'd like to know if you guys disagree or agree. But uh, it's not an RPG MMO. Uh, an RPG MMO is just a bit different. And that's just like kind of a band of beat. I mean, it's still an RPG game in ten place. It is an open world, multiplayer open world. But to the standards of uh, doing the request over and over, as the bandit beater aspect. It's a role playing game, open world. But if you're talking about comparing it to World of Warcraft, then it's not the same. If you're comparing it to RuneScape, it is not the same. If you're comparing it to any other RPG MMO games like those, they're not the same. But if you're saying it's in a, uh, like the actual definition of a role playing game and it's an open world multiplayer, then yes, it would be classified as that. But it's not the same as RuneScape, World of Warcraft, Wizard 101, or any of those other RPG games. Those are completely different. But I'm gonna probably try to look for other games that I could try to play. I mean, you have to wait until uh, December and we could probably play Rail Seas. Uh, I'm gonna make a video on that on its own. Kind of, you guys will see it. Please subscribe with notifications if you really wanna see the video. And yeah, I just wanted to make a video talking about those creations. And yeah, kind of that. I kind of figured this would happen. And a lot of players already knew that this would happen. Their player count will be decreasing more and more and more and the more time players get to max the more they realize there's no point in playing and then they ditch the game and then try to play something else they go back to blocks roots or they go back to gpo haste piece if anybody still plays that or go and play anime vanguard it's like a hundred fifty thousand players on anime vanguard I, bro i even made videos on anime vanguard I mean, I spin a lot, spinning and spinning. Only got like a four mythicals, four, five, six, uh, five or six, somewhere there. Mythicals, no shinies. I saw a video of someone complaining about um, them not getting a shiny, and they spun, I spun like so much. Anyways, again, I really want to know what you guys think about the creations uh, and the decreasing of player count. I am curious what you guys think and I will be there to reply to your message or comment and heart it if I agree or find it funny or stuff like that. Um, I would like to hear your criticisms, what things you liked about that was creation, what things you didn't like. And it, you could also join our Discord server if you like. Do you want to recommend any games or want to join us to play, um, join game nights or something? I'll probably try to bring that back. But yeah, all social media is in the description. Like, subscribe to the notifications. Share the video if you want your friends to watch this video, or your family, whatever. And yeah, um, feel free to become a YouTube channel member. Um, it helps support the channel and it helps us fund uh, to make better content. I guess that's pretty much it. Join our Discord server, follow me on Instagram, follow me on all the social medias in the description, and I have other channels if you want to watch those. Also, you could click on the video, it should be somewhere in the corner, and it'll be about the creations, me criticizing about the game. Anyways, that's pretty much it the video. Thanks for watching, and to see you guys next time, stay safe, and take care.